Aloha! Top of the morning, friends and family. Uh, usually, or we would be doing a, a Music Monday because generally we do a, a Music Monday uh, and a uh, beautifully edited cinematic video on Saturdays. However, this one's uncut. And the reason we're not doing music today, even though it's Monday, is because Hillary had to work and the kids, we wrote this amazing song for you guys. It's gonna be coming out really well. Noah helped actually write it and Noah's actually rapping on the song. Noah, you wanna give him a little like sneak peek of what's coming? It's your song. You helped me write it, dude. Um, what did you like? Yeah, but we're- And mom. Yeah, the whole family helped us write this song. Well, we're here today though with, with Grant. Sorry, I called you Grant. You're Grant. This is Arnold. You got you guys want to tell everybody what we're doing here today? Yeah. So, um, unfortunately, uh, me and Grant were were huge ball python fans, and we we love them, and um, you know it's really been uh, our source of uh, uh, stress relief during this crazy pandemic. And um, unfortunately, we come to the point where we can no longer keep them for various reasons that I won't go into, um, and. I had to break the news to Grant that uh, we can't keep the snakes that have been um, keeping us uh, uh, sane through this whole crazy situation. And while we were kind of figuring out what to do with them, how can we, you know, get them into safe hands? Uh, Brian uh, um, Grant says, "Well, let's call Brian Cusco because um, you know we watch Brian and his family." every weekend religiously a Sunday morning when mom's not at work we put it on and um, you know it's uh, a source for ideas of you know what to do and um, you know how to how to better take care of our snakes and um, so I sent Brian a random Instagram message I was just like well you know hey it's it's worth a shot um, you know the other options are were that we would have to give the snakes to folks that we may not know if they could take care of them and uh, you know for Grant that was the biggest thing is that you know they're like our family and um, we want to make sure they were in good hands so he says well call Brian and um, I sent a random text and I'm like you know Brian's probably gonna think I'm a weirdo but I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, you know it's worth a shot hey well more. hold on let me let me give everybody a lot of people a lot of people reach out to me on Instagram or in Facebook Messenger and let me say that the way that you where did your thing? I, I I think I said I wish everybody would like reach. Out. Why is my car still on? <laughs> oh my god, we've been here for like twenty minutes. <laughs> so uh, sometimes here's my, here's my favorite one. Here's the one that you shouldn't do. If you if you have a question for me, don't send me your don't make your first message to me. Can I ask you a question and just stop there? Because I'm always like, yes, you just did ask me a question technically but I'd love a little bit more detail so I could help you out. But no, you, your, your message was, um, I just wanted to stop you because I, I get a lot of messages and yours didn't make me feel like you were a weirdo. My, yours made me feel like, hey, an intelligent human who's probably gonna have a good conversation with me. That's what. I, I, think, I think I opened it up with like, you know, um, this is really weird or, or like maybe, you know, I, I can't remember what I, what I sent, but. Um, it was good. Well, not, not everybody has the text, you know, the, the like, probably people don't have never, maybe there's people out there that are, have rarely ever sent an email in their life and the internet's like kind of a new like way of communication i don't know but anyway you did good well thank you it was just the weirdest i was just like worst worst case scenario he just he'll, he could just ignore me and that you know then we would just have to figure something else out but um you know brian responded and uh I mean, here we are, and uh, Grant was, uh, as hard as this was, that was the thing that really made Grant feel like, um, you know, there was, uh, you know, there was hope for this whole situation, and it, 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 it's a tough one, too, so, yeah. You're going to be, how long, how long have you been, so I know you got some names for all these snakes, like, what, what is, uh, what's your favorite one? Um... I don't really have favorites. I like them all. Well, I got to tell you, the, the name LL Cool Snake, I thought that was a pretty cool name. <laughs> um, like I told you, man, um, whatever happens, like if you're able, if you guys are able to do this again and, and take the snakes back, like I'm not taking all of them, as you know. Uh, I've got some some good buddies over here. One other buddy that's not here right now that they're gonna help help uh, house them. And when it comes down the line, like if you if you 
guys are able to take them back, we'll have them ready for you. We'll take until until that time comes, okay? So it's, it's not it's a potentially goodbye for now. Depends on what you guys' situation ends up being in the future, but like I said, man, um, you'll know where they're at at all times. And we'll put, at least the ones I have, you'll see on video all the time. And then the other guys, I'll know where, I know where they live. <laughs> I moved. You moved? I moved. I'll find you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's why we're here today. Also, what else is happening today? The, the Pleasanton Reptile Show is actually right across the street. And I would give you guys a, the, what was that? No, so, did I, did you not? He knows, he knows, he knows. Okay, you know that? Okay, I didn't know if you knew that. No, I'm sorry. I'm, see, I got a big mouth. I, I'm always he, saying he things. Knows that, yeah. Okay. Well, the thing about the Pleasant Reptile Show is uh, Jesse from Freedom Breeder is in town, and you're not going to see a video from me at the Pleasanton Reptile Show, but however, I'm going to go across the street, and Jesse is going to uh, do a video there for the Freedom Breeder channel. So if you're curious about the Pleasanton Reptile Show, Go watch it on the Freedom Breeder channel. You'll see it there. And I'll be behind the camera instead. It'll be fun. You guys got anything you want to say to the, the viewers at all? No, other than, you know, thank you. And, um, uh, I mean, it's a tough situation. And I really, uh, I really appreciate the fact that, you know, you're uh, uh, an authority in the Red Pile community that, um, that we respect. And Not an authority. Well, um, you know, uh, in our world, uh, you are you are the, the 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 lifeline, and um, it really made a huge difference. I mean, this is a horrible feeling to have to let go of some, um, you know, something that's uh, so important to the to our family, and um, you know, I mean, it just really I appreciate all the stuff that you do, and uh, uh, and the world that you open, you know, to to me and my family. So, right. huge. Well, I, I appreciate it too, man. You know, the, the reciprocation is a big deal. So. Um, we're gonna say goodbye to you guys here for now. I know I'm looking over here. I'm just I'm trying to figure out, make sure I actually am recording. Oh, good, I am. That's fantastic. We're gonna say bye to you guys, but you will definitely see the snakes in future videos, and you'll see what what snakes that uh, they got great names. Just wait, you guys will see it. But we're gonna get out of here, and um, you guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we will see you on the next video, which is going to be. Not Music Monday, or will it? No, should we do Music Monday on Wednesday instead since we're not doing Music Monday today? Yeah. Yeah? All right, all right. Wednesday's going to be Music Monday. I know it's all backwards. You get it. Life, life is flexible. It's good. Take care of yourselves.